Today's challenge at Dave's farm. My buddy bought a one acre farmhouse nearby. Came with this uh, about 20 year old Husqvarna lawn tractor. I'm not sure how many horse. Uh, they said it worked nine or ten years ago. It's been sitting there ever since. They hired someone else to cut the grass. So I gotta see if I can get this thing running. I assume it probably has a very dirty carburetor. Let's see what it's got for a motor. No. 12 horse Briggs and Stratton. Not seized. Well, I know we bought a new battery, so we'll have to try that. Yeah, it's getting rotten. Lots of shit built up everywhere. But I got that covered too. I've got a serious pressure washer modified with a handy dandy little electric motorized scooter front end. Makes it so easy just to take it for a walk. It's a 13 horse Honda, 3500 PSI, 4 gallons per minute. One serious pressure washer. If you ever touch this on your skin, it cuts you. I'd have to do the job and cut the grease. <laughs> Enough of that, Dave. Well, good as new. That thing can wash my bulldozer. It sure does a good job on this thing. Ooh, it's even shiny. Oh, I'm sure that's going to be a green stinky mess at the bottom of the carb. A new battery. Now we're moving. Well, if you ever want to know what year your Briggs & Stratton engine was made. It has an engine code. This one's hard to see, but it says model, type, and code. The first two digits of the code number on this one says 90, so that means this was made in 1990. This is true for every Briggs & Stratton engine ever made, just in case you wanted to know. Batteries in. Next step, check the oil. Hmm, it's even clean. Well, I'm not going to bother changing that. If it can sit in the ground for 65 million years, it can sit in here for nine years. Looks fine to me. Now the air filter. Well, no mouse nest. That's a good sign. I'll leave that off for now while I'm fixing the carburetor. Time to take the bowl off the carb. Fucking hood won't stay up. Just a minute. Alright, here comes the needle jet screw. The gas doesn't smell actually that bad. Not green yet. Good thing there ain't much left in there. I think we uh, got some serious lucky potential here. I just snipped the gas tank. It doesn't smell like there's anything in there. Best thing to do when you put them away is run them dry. I guess I can put that thing back on. 
and I'll try it without even blowing it out. I'll go get some gas and see if we get lucky. We're all set. Well, now to see if we're going to start it. It's got a pressure sensitive seat so I have to sit on it to try it. There's the little switch that senses your fat ass. Push the clutch, turn the key. Oh man, that sounds like a sewing machine. Well, nothing's perfect. The Bendix drive is a little bit seized up, so I'll have to take that cover off and see what's going on. Well, for some reason, that little starter drive gear is not lifting up by itself and engaging the flywheel. Um, no luck. I better check and see if I got the battery hooked up positive and negative right. Well, I fucked that. I haven't even had a beer yet and I got the positive and negative hooked up wrong. But that's not really my fault. The owner bought a battery with the terminals on the wrong side. So now I gotta see if the red wire will stretch over here and the black one here. So I guess there's nothing there is nothing wrong with the starter. It's just turning the well we're in luck. I was able to reverse the wires and they reached. Take two, try two. Oh wow, it's firing. Get off choke. Hey! First try! Um, I guess I gotta fix the flat tire first. Well, Either Briggs & Stratton makes a great motor or Husqvarna makes a great lawn tractor, but that's amazing. It sat all that time and fired right up, but I guess it was because it was out of gas all that time. I think I'll... We're all aired up. Let's see if this thing is going to drive now. <laughs> it is awful rusty. Well, there's the problem. It's been sitting so long, it's got cracks in the sidewalls, so I'll have to change that tire before he gets it. Oh yeah, she's a worker. She's working. <laughs> Success. Another job well done, another day, another dollar, homeward bound.